Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Green Life Garden and Home DIY channel. So today I am headed to the Dollar Tree. Not really doing a big overhaul, but what I am going to look for is um, grow bags. And so as I was going through my uh, gardening supplies the other night, I came across a few things that I had put aside last season um, that I was using for grow bags. And I thought about a particular little storage unit that they have there that should work pretty good so we're gonna take us a trip to the Dollar Tree and see if they have any I'll let you see what I'm talking about and uh, we're gonna be doing us some more planting all right hold tight all right so we are pulling in find us a spot Okay, so far, these tomatoes look rather interesting. Found some radish seeds I've got here in my hand. And these little soaker hose that you can hook up to your water hose. Um, and I paid like eight bucks for one of these <laughs> the other day. One dollar. Dollar Tree. So these are what I was looking for. These little storage containers right here. They're made of cloth. And uh, I would like to get this size. Uh, don't have my glasses on to see what's... I see some down here and a brown and I see a grayish color. Got a cart here in my way. But yeah, this is what I was talking about. You can easily use these for, for grow bags. So you, normally have a piece of cardboard down in the bottom that's just the extra one of those um, that is going to break down anyway you know like this cardboard all of that that's gold in your garden it adds so much to your soil so stop throwing away your boxes all right so let me go ahead and grab a few so i can get out of here i wanted to point out they have the half uh, size two these are about eight inches in height uh, the ones I'm getting are 10, uh, they're larger. And then they have even the even smaller ones right here. You know, if you're planting something, say lettuce or something like that, uh, or something you just want to kind of put on your countertop. So these are perfect, guys. Okay, so they actually have four sizes. Um, this one is four inches uh, in height, almost five inches. That's pretty good. And you have this one here. It's like eight inches in height. The one that I have, let's see, is 10. They claim it as the new larger size, but I had this size like a year ago <laughs> and didn't realize what I had. So, Okay, so I'm only going to get four of them in the black because I have a wonderful family friend that's going to be sending me some uh, bags to grow in, so I don't need a lot. Just want to show you, you can use anything to plant and grow your food. Now, if you're really particular and uh, what it's made of and things like that, go check it out. But um, yeah, I think it's a very good idea for a dollar. And you got a whole big old shucks. If I had to guess gallon wise, I'd say at least three, four. Okay, so that's it you guys. My little Dollar Tree haul consisted of four of these storage containers, which are gonna be used as grow bags. I got a couple of uh, tomato rocket uh, boxes there and uh, I've got a, another attachment for my hose. This is like a water sprinkler type deal. More radishes because you could always plant them uh, as you pull the, the, the old radishes start planting new and you'll have some all season and my beautiful little hat that I just could not leave behind. And so that's it. Go and check them out if you decide to 
uh, try grow bags out this year and that way you're not having to go and order them um, online. You could just get them right from the Dollar Tree. And those little bags will hold quite a bit of soil because the soil is going to become very compacted. Compacted. <laughs> and uh, you'd be able to get quite a bit in there. Okay. One love.